Welcome everybody to a new tropical weather update. On today's video, we are going to talk about the latest information on Hurricane Danielle in the central subtropical Atlantic, Tropical Storm Earl which is moving northward towards Bermuda, and Tropical Storm K in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Let's begin today's discussion by looking at Hurricane Danielle's latest information. As of the 11 a.m. update on Monday, September 5th, Danielle had maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour, with gusts to 105 miles per hour, with a movement towards the northeast at 8 miles per hour, and a minimum central pressure of 976 millibars. Danielle is now on a weakening trend as it moves deeper into colder waters, and it is expected to continue weakening in the coming days as it moves to the north and east, potentially weakening down to an extra tropical cyclone by Wednesday or Thursday. Some of you may have heard some rumors of Hurricane Danielle potentially impacting the United Kingdom next week, although at this point in time I would not be very concerned about that, especially now that the National Hurricane Center and some weather models are suggesting a turn to the north before the storm reaches Europe. Let's take some time to talk about Tropical Storm Earl. As of the 11 a.m. update on Monday, September 5th, Tropical Storm Earl had maximum sustained winds of 65 miles per hour, with gusts to 75 miles per hour. Movement was northwest at 5 miles per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 998 millibars. This storm system may bring some flooding impacts to the Leeward Islands, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico today. Rapid rises on rivers and mudslides in areas of steep terrain will be possible in Puerto Rico today, with considerable flood impacts in areas that receive heavier rainfall. Beyond that, the forecasted track of Tropical Storm Earl will bring the storm southeast of Bermuda. However the wind field is expected to increase significantly, so Bermuda Island should monitor the progress of this system closely. For the last portion of the video, I wanted to talk about Tropical Storm K, which is located in the eastern Pacific Ocean. As of the latest National Hurricane Center update, Tropical Storm K sustained winds were at 60 mph, with gusts to 70 mph. Movement was west at 15 mph, with a minimum central pressure of 995 millibars. Tropical Storm K has the potential to be more impactful than the other two storms we have talked about in this video, so let's go over some more details. Although the center of K is forecasted to stay offshore of southwest mainland Mexico, gusts to tropical storm force and rough surf along the coast are expected through Tuesday. In addition, heavy rain could lead to flash flooding, including landslides, across parts of the Mexican Riviera and western Mexico through Wednesday night. Tropical storm conditions will be possible across the southern Baja California Peninsula by early Wednesday, where a tropical storm watch has been issued. K is forecasted to become a hurricane when it nears the central portion of the Baja California Peninsula later this week. Details of the long-range track and intensity remain uncertain. There is an increasing threat of significant wind, surf, and rainfall impacts there, and a tropical storm or even hurricane watch may be issued for the region later today or Tuesday. And that concludes today's tropical weather update. If you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when I upload more updates.